E3 2014, talking about One Piece Unlimited World Red. We have Grace, who does PR for One Piece. Grace, how are you doing? I'm great. Awesome. So, tell us about One Piece for people who have no idea what it's about. Uh, it's very popular in Japan. What What's happening with One Piece over here? It, well, One Piece is one of the most popular anime and manga series in the world, in fact. Um, and it's basically about a pirate named Luffy, who has this special ability to stretch like a rubber man. And he's on this mission to become the king of the pirates and find One Piece, which is the ultimate treasure in the entire world that everybody's looking for. All right, so we've done One Piece games previously, but this one that's coming up, uh, One Piece Unlimited World Red, what's special or different about this game? What, what's going on? So this game, it actually features a original storyline, so it doesn't follow the anime series, and um, it has original characters, created by Ichiro Oda, who is the creator of One Piece. Uh, so he had his hand in it, and so um, it's great because the storyline, you don't have to be all up to date with this series, you can just jump right in, and um, everybody will have a fresh experience, even people, longtime One Piece fans will find something new to enjoy and love. And additionally, uh, the game originally released in Japan uh, just on the 3DS, but uh, for the U.S. release, it'll be spreading to all, all platforms, uh, the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Wii U, 3DS, PlayStation Vita, we're covering all of that. Uh, we also have some new content uh, separate from the Japanese release. Uh, we're adding in the Coliseum mode. So there's two modes, there's story mode and then Coliseum mode, which is new. And it's basically what it sounds like, um, just a... Uh, just an arena where you can pick your favorite characters and just d battle it out against all your other favorite characters. And there are new playable characters, including Ace, which um, One Piece fans should be very excited about, and uh, including uh, famous bosses such as Don Flamingo, and um, you can play Jinbei as well, and a lot of these characters are only playable in Coliseum mode, so... I've heard this game has co-op. We know it's an action game, has some RPG elements. Tell us about some of the multiplayer. Uh, for the PlayStation and Wii U, we'll have one to two players co-op, uh, local multiplayer. And then for the handheld consoles, the 3DS and Vita, it'll be up to four players. And so people can just duke it out with their friends, um, go on missions, and... Uh, play mini games together, such as catching bugs and going fishing together. So it's all real exciting. So you work on another one of our anime titles coming up, Sword Art Online. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Sword Art Online is one of the most popular. Uh, it's growing rapidly in popularity, um, and so we're really excited to bring this title over. Uh, the so the full title is Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment, and it actually includes uh, the previous game title called Sword Art Online Infinity Moment and which that originally released in Japan just on the PSP but it didn't release in the US so we're really excited that uh, this game includes it as um, a half of the game um, and so the game itself if nobody knows much about the series it's about a virtual reality MMORPG and the characters, when they log into the game, uh, they find that the creator of the game has locked them in. So they're not able to log out. And if they die in the game, then they'll die in real life. So that's kind of... That sounds, that sounds pretty intense. <laughs>